is Kali Kukwish. So welcome to my YouTube channel, Shuma Kids. And today I'm going to cover a very interesting topic called American Civilizations, friends. This is very important, friends. So, subscribe my channel, like, share, and comment down below. So let us go to the next slide. Hi, friends. Today I'm going to cover American Civilizations. It's new topic for American culture and this is the introduction and where is the Hudson Museum in USA this is the question American civilizations many uh, many impressed civilizations flourished in North Cent Central and South America the Native Americans who created these civilization built cliff top palaces huge earth mounds and pyramid temples a few fragments of the civilization achievements survive today. Friends, so let us go to the next slide. Hi friends, in this slide I am going to cover Anazazi people. And today's question is, could you locate Mexico in the Google map? Please locate Mexico. So this is 600 to 780 timeline friends. Alright, okay. 680 what happened to Tihucan people in Mexico is at most powerful and Tiahucano is in Bolivia is at strong it is strongest now okay friends so Mexico's capital actually it's Mexico City MC means Mexico City and Bolivia's capital is Sucre. So, SU means Sucre. Okay, friends. Okay, 700. Anazazi culture develops in southwestern USA. The Anazazi people lived in what it lived in what is known as the southwestern USA. So, this is South America. Friends, this was the starting of South America. And they grew grew corn and built amazing cliff houses called pubals in which as many as 5000 people lived their descendants were used as known as a pubal okay friends so let us and in this photo there is the uh, ancestral uh, pubal no pubal okay friends and okay friends yes. So let us go to the next slide, friends. Friends, today I'm going to go on Zazi people, friends. All right. Okay, friends. So in this slide, and you can tell, could you uh, send some pics of ho ho -Kum people, friends? All right, friends. Okay, 700. Wait, friend. 700 friends. Okay. So 700. What ha what happened is also in the southwestern lived the Hohokam people who dug irrigation canals to water their crops and like the Anazazi wove cotton cloth and made decorated clay pottery feather. East the Mississippi people in Mississippi people the river is Mississippi River. Okay, now the city is in America, friends, USA. Built well planned towns and of single fam family houses. About AD 700, the largest city in America was the central Mexico. Teotihuacan was the city of more than one. Lakh people, 600 pyramids, and 2000 apartment blocks. So, the, this is the photo of Hohokam people. Okay, so Hohokam people here. Okay, so that like the Anazazi, they also built irrigation canals to water their crops, and like the Anazazi people, friends. So, let us go to the next slide. Hi friends, today I'm going to go to the city of Tia Hakado, friends, in this slide. And today I'm going to go in this, uh, 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 the, today's question in this slide is the address mountains range crossed in how many countries? 
I do, uh, there are seven ranges, but I do three of them. Okay, so these are uh, Brazil, Paraguay, and uh, Chile, Chile. Okay, okay, friends. Great, friend. Okay, Tia Hokkaido's time of greatest power was from about AD 350 to 750. Wait, friends, 780 I'm going to cover. Okay. Okay, Tia Hokkaido's time of greatest power was from about AD 350 to 750. Was then on, it was overshadowed by new power detonants who built their own temple, city and Tula. In uh, South America, high in Andes Mountains was the city of Tia Hokkaido flourished between 500 and 1000. Here people used llamas. Friends, so what are llamas? These are like donkeys and these uh, uh, carry luggage friends as pack animals and paddle lead abodes on the lake Tat Titicaca. Other city states of the Andes such as, as Huari in Peru was greatly influenced by Tiahucano friends. Mm -hmm. So this is Peru and the capital is Lima friends. So let us go to the next slide. Hi friends, today I'm going to a very important topic that is Nazca Peru friends. I'm going to go to Nazca Peru. So could you tell me, the, this is the question, could, can you tell me the capital of Peru? The capital of Peru is Lima friends. All right. Okay. So 750 to 800 friends. All right. In the timeline. 750 Tia to have cat is destroyed. It's destroyed, friends. It was a good civilization, but it was destroyed. Friends, because of pe more people coming in the civilization, and Tia Hukado also declines. These both civilizations were good and they were destroyed, friends. Alright. Okay, for 880, Nazca of Peru. This is the third civilization, Nazca of Peru, after these two civilizations, lose independence after Huari moved. The Huari is also a civilization. These both are for Peru, but this the Huari captures Nazca, friends. Okay, move oh, into their lands. This civilization also after declines, friends. Into their lands. The Nazca of Peru marked out the giant pictures in desert with few furrows and furrows and stones and amazing animal designs that are best seen from the air friends they are best seen from the air friends all right so let us go go to the next slide before seeing a picture this is the giant pictures they have created from here to here it's very long Stone speeds, the giant stone pictures here. Okay, so let us go to the next slide. So, hi friends, today I'm going to go rise of Totex, and in this slide, and I'm going to go over, tell something about Totex and Mexico, friends. This is a question 900 to 1080, friends. All right, 980, friends. Rise of Toltecs in Mexico, friends. And in 1968, Toltecs set up the capital at Tula. So, friends, these two, uh, uh, at Tula is in Mexico, friends. All right. All right, friends. So, we have to check these things in Google Map, friends. All right. All right. 1000 is Mississippi culture at its height. Its main city is Kahuyuki. In, in, in what is now Ilionis and now the old name of Ilionis was Kahukio. Kahiko. Uh -huh. Kahukio. Okay, friends. In US. So let us go to the next slide. And this is the picture. Big giant things created by uh, Toltex people. Friends. Alright. So let us go to the next slide. Rise. Hi, friends. We are going to rise of Chibu Kingdom. Friends. So today I'm going to cover the Chibu Kingdom. Okay, friends, let us cover today the Chibu Kingdom in this slide. And today's question is, could you look at Colorado on Google Maps? So this is 1100 to 1280. 
Okay. So 1100 rise on the Chibu Kingdom in Peru. Late 1100s. End of the Toltec state. And Tola is destroyed, friends. Tola is destroyed. Friends, the 1200s, the Cliff Palace in the Massa Verde and Massa Verde is now known as the what is now as Colorado, USA. Friends, all right. So this is the yeah. Cliff. These are the Cliff Palaces here in Colorado. Okay. So let us go to the next slide. Next slide, friends. To all of my viewers, I'm gonna come back, come with a very interesting topic that is the German unification and French Revolution, and very interesting topic called Mamal Gori 2, friends. Okay, so buy, subscribe, and see your dynasty. Buy, subscribe, and share, like, share, comment down below. Bye.